Hello and welcome back to My Rubber Heart. Today we're getting our hands sticky. Not literally, but we are diving into the mesmerizing world of rubber compound mixing. Think of it as a baker mixing dough, but way cooler and, well, rubberier. First off, our key ingredient, rubber. It can be natural, straight from trees, or synthetic, born in the swirly reactors of industry. But to make these into something useful, we need to mix them with other ingredients. Enter the world of mixers. First up, the intermeshing mixers. Imagine two gears meshing together, that's what's happening inside this machine. These mixers are like the ninjas of rubber mixing, ensuring more uniform and efficient blend. Here, the rotors work in close contact, perfectly choreographed like a dance, mixing every bit of rubber with precision. Now, meet the tangential mixer, the powerhouse. These guys have rotors that don't touch each other. They're like two chefs in a kitchen, working side by side, but with their own space. In this mixer, the rubber is cut, folded and turned, ensuring it gets thoroughly mixed without feeling too clingy. But wait, there's more. Some mixers are like magicians, the extruders. They not only mix, but also shape the rubber. Imagine like a pasta maker, but for rubber. In an extruder, rubber is pushed through a die, getting mixed, molded into various shapes. It's like watching magic happen. From car tires to waterproof seals, all these start from the mixers, the unsung heroes of the world of rubber. So remember, whether it's the ninja-like precision of intermeshing mixers, the powerhouse efficiency of tangential ones, or the magical molding of extruders. Each plays a vital role in bringing rubber to life. And that's our mix-up for today. I hope you had as much fun learning about rubber mixing as I did sharing it. Keep stretching your imagination, and as always, stay elastic, and I'll see you in the lab.